Cowabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing my 166th Mezco Toys 112 Collective action figure review, this time being of Constantine. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in your standard Mezco box with some amazing artwork of John Constantine. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images and panels showcasing the figure in multiple posing positions with his different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's go ahead and crack this figure open and let him breathe. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at Constantine here. So we finally get this guy in the Mezco 112 Collective. It feels like it's been forever since we all pre-ordered him. Mezco's finally starting to roll stuff out, which is good. Kind of sucks on the wallet, I get it. Uh, but we are getting figures finally, so that's really, really good. Now, Constantine here is fairly basic for the most part. I'll show off all the head sculpts shortly, uh, but his suit here is pretty simple. You know, I love the white shirt with the folded up uh, sleeves, which is really nice. We do get the more loose fitting tie around there. I love how it's more like dangling. Uh, the, the piece of the tie that's around the collar is on a bendy wire for some reason. I guess it's just more to hold position, but the tie itself is not. And I love how a piece of his shirt is actually just like not fully tucked in. It's actually just hanging out because, you know, he's kind of a grimy bastard. You know what I mean? He's a little bit of a scumbag. And um, I love that about Constantine. Then you got more simple, more black dressy pants like that. You do get some really nice boots that he's rocking right there. You can even see the zipper painted on the inside of the boots. Peg holes at the feet. You know, again, pretty simple. Uh, and I do like it quite a bit, man. I love Constantine. He's such a unique character. And again, just really happy to finally have him. Okay, so now let's move on to his accessories, man. Because in my personal opinion, the accessories is where this figure truly, truly shines. So, of course, we're going to get the circular base stand right here. We get that same really awesome arc of Constantine that we saw on the box. And then we do, of course, get the clear articulated arm. And again, I always say, these Mezco stands are my favorite stands at this scale for any action figure. So, I love that a lot. We also, of course, going to get his trench coat here, and it's fairly simple. Again, it is pretty bulky. We do get a bendy wire in here that folds around like that. Same thing with the belt piece like that. That's on a bendy wire, so you can pose that around. It's pretty simple. You're just going to pull the arms back and slide them over. Uh, take off the hands first, you know, to slide the uh, hand, arms all the way through, and it works out really good. Just be careful, again, because this is a pretty bulky coat, so, you know, you're, it's going to hinder articulation a bit, especially if you're trying to utilize those double-jointed elbows with the coat on. Uh, it may not be as... Um, flexible as you would really like so you know again i think him without the coat is going to be more fun because you're going to be able to utilize a lot more of the accessories but if you just want him looking like a badass with his coat on you know smoking a cigarette and holding a sword or something like that and put him on your shelf like that i think it's really cool too but to utilize everything else and to get him in better poses you're going to want him without the coat that's just kind of how it is in my opinion so Let's move on. Uh, we do get a ton of freaking interchangeable hands. Oh my God. We get types of gripping hands. Uh, we get closed fisted hands, different types of open palm hands and flared out finger hands for holding his different accessories and effect pieces, all kinds of really cool stuff. I absolutely love that we're getting these hands with the tarot cards too. So I'm gonna pop off this hand like that, and I'm just gonna pop one of these hands on you and grab, grab them by the base, don't grab them by the cards, grab the hand by the base, and then pop it in like that. That is some sweet stuff, man. There's stuff like this where Mezco just really, really shines, and you can see the each card does have printing on it, it's probably a little hard for me to get my camera to focus on that, uh, but it's really cool seeing all that stuff, man. So I love when Mezco does something like that. And these cards are not meant to be removable. Uh, they are kind of like glued in place. So just be very weary of what you're doing when it comes to stuff like that and interchanging parts. So just be very, very careful. We also do get four interchangeable heads. I love all the different heads that we get here. Uh, one's just more of a straightforward head. We have one that's more of a little smirking head where he's kind of smiling and just looking like a total a-hole. You know, that's kind of how Constantine is. Then I love the actual heads that we get where he's really beat up. You got the bandage over his nose on his chin. He's all bruised up and battered. Uh, even the hair is messed up more. And the one at the very end where his eyes just completely blacked out. Uh, he cannot see through that thing at all, but he's still smiling. 
because he knows he's about to destroy the F out of some monsters. So I love that a lot, dude. And just popping these heads off is just so much fun. I love changing Mezco heads. It's butter, dude. But that is a great looking head sculpt. Oh my God. I think Mezco just nailed it. Because he's he's one of those characters, man. Again, he's not the smartest uh, and, and not the most. Uh, he's not really a tactician in any way. Uh, and he gets his butt handed to him from time to time. So this is a great addition. So moving on, we also do get a ton of things like interchangeable cigarettes because this guy is a very heavy smoker and he looks like he's smoking up to two packs a day because it's pretty crazy with this. Uh, but we do get some regular cigarettes right there. And these are very tiny pieces. I love that Mezco actually included multiple of just the small ones. So you got the standard ones the where the tips are slightly more burned than others, which is really fun. Then you have a little smoke effect piece coming off from some of the others. And then you do get separate smoke effect pieces where he's blowing like the little circles. Or you have the one where the cigarette and has the large smoke effect coming off that, which is really interesting uh, because if if you look close and it's kind of hard to tell there is a little bit of a skull shape sculpted into the smoke effect piece itself which is really awesome so i love that a lot now here's the thing with these the on the in the instructions it says there's a very small little port in the mouth <clears throat> the left side of the mouth on the little corner and you can kind of see it here um the problem is is that it's a pain in the butt and it's almost too tight on all the others and the other, some of the other heads don't, just honestly don't even seem like they even have a hole in there um, at the corner of the mouth so I had to actually get a very fine knife and kind of poke a little hole in there and very thinly slice a hole through his mouth uh, and I did a pretty good job because you could barely tell uh, that there's a uh, actually slit through his whole mouth now. Um, but you can see here where there's supposed to be a little hole. This is the one that works out the best, honestly, for me at least. And you're supposed to take a cigarette and then put it in the mouth like right there. And it's kind of tricky, so just be very careful with this because be, it can be pretty delicate. And then he can hold the cigarette in his mouth like that. Again, for me, it didn't work on all the heads. I had to almost poke my own hole with a really fine knife, like a razor blade or something like that, whatever you got, to really widen that up and to make them fit a little better. Just be very, very careful with that because you don't want to slice up your heads. Um, luckily, mine turned out really, really good. But once you have it, it's really awesome. So I do love all these effect pieces. So this guy just does have a ton more effect pieces. It's just crazy with this guy. Uh, so we do get a lighter, well, let's just say two versions of a lighter. We have a closed one that's a really nice gold. And then the opened one with the flame effect coming out like that. I think that is so awesome. We also do get two separate flame effect pieces that we get here. Uh, these are for more like holding in his palm. And they are kind of shaped specifically for holding in his hand um, like that. And you'll see pictures later on with all this stuff. But that's really cool. So you do get two of those for each hand. And you have do have the hands that hold of those just perfectly. God, I freaking love this thing, man. I've been having a lot of fun taking pictures with this guy. I really, really have. We also do get these really cool large effect pieces that are really nice. These are very solid. Uh, and they are kind of sculpted to where you can actually fit more of like the open palm hands in there and slide the fingers in there so what i've done you, you can see right here i've already put one of the hands in there and they'll the fingers will slide into the little ports it's a little tricky uh but it does work out pretty good and then what i like to do is uh take that like this uh with the hand already ported on the effect piece and then plug the hand in like that hopefully it stays uh and then you can hold them and position them around and things like that so that's really cool too i love all the different like rune effects and stuff like we've seen with other figures before so i absolutely love that a lot and we also do get these uh these really cool like arm effect pieces you'll see two of these like this and these like amber color like that we also do get ones in these like blue colors which look really good too now what these are going to be for you're going to actually have to unplug the hand first and you're going to take the larger one and kind of take it and push it all the way up on the forearm like that and then take the smaller one just around the wrist like so and then plug a hand back on like that and now he looks like he's shooting off some kind of magic effect or some kind of spell going on i just think that's so dope man i kind of want to have him posed with these effects and you get again the blue ones for one side the amber ones for the other side so i think that is really cool and no, we are not done yet because he still has more things coming. Uh, we do get this really sweet looking cross here. 
I love the way that thing looks. The sculpt of that is gorgeous. It almost has like this faded rustic gold to it, which I think is great. And he can hold that in a gripping hand, which works out really, really nicely. He needs this for fighting his demons and monsters and all the stuff that he does like to fight. We also do get this really wicked looking sword. I freaking love this sword here. You know, he has these more like ancient type of monster fighting weapons and things like that, which I think is really cool too. You can see the different types of moons sculpted right here in the blade itself and that handle looks wicked i freaking love that it looks like some kind of red tassel hanging at the bottom right there but very very nice we also do get this really cool knife that just looks awesome for some type of like i don't know some some sacrifices or whatever this thing is for some ritual type of things like that but that knife looks good with a split blade like that down the center you got the skull right there in the middle i mean the handle the guard all look incredible man he also does have this pump action rifle, which is crazy too. I'm assuming this thing shoots like silver bullets, you know, because again, he is a monster demon hunter type thing. So I think that works out really cool too. And again, the thing actually does pump for the action like that. So that's really awesome. What a great addition to that. I think that's the first time we're getting this weapon uh, for a Mezco figure. And this kind of makes me hope that we could see this gun later down the line for hopefully a like cowboy Gomez. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know a lot of us have been wanting like a Western Gomez for like the longest time. And this would be a good gun to go with that type of figure. So I think that'd be great. And then finally, I believe this is finally the last accessory. Homeboy comes with a freaking chainsaw, man, because you never know when you need to cut off a demon's head with a freaking chainsaw. And the detail in this is awesome. This is just a great accessory to have in the 112 scale um, for action figures, you know what I mean? To get an actual really good looking chainsaw. The handle does kind of move up here, uh, but that looks nice. The chain looks all really great. Looks a little dirty and rusted, so this thing has seen better days. Uh, I was kind of wondering if you could actually pull the string there, but you can't. But still, this is a really fun accessory. So as you can see, this guy comes with so much stuff the options really do feel endless so I'm going to go and show off articulation now uh, without the coat because, again, the coat does hinder the articulation a bit. So I really want to show what he can do. Uh, the head and the neck are on separate ball pegs, so that rolls around very, very nicely. Does turn left and right, up very far. That's really good. And down all the way that much. I mean, that's really good range. And then pivot side to side. So you got a lot of good motion in there. I'm just going to go all the way up like so. Uh, no butterfly joint. But we do get double jointed elbows, which is sweet. Uh, I hope Mezco starts doing that. Get away, get away with the single, get rid of the single elbows, man. We don't need those anymore, Mezco. Get rid of them. So double jointed elbows, rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist. We do get a double ball peg in the midsection that goes one down into the crotch and one up to his chest area. So lots of good motion there. Rotate, crunches back and forth and pivot side to side. Just be careful because you might pull the shirt out of the uh, tuck of the pants there. The hips can kick all the way forward that much. Back, not so much. Splits out about, ooh, that's actually really good range even with those pants. Rotation and upper thigh. We got double jointed knees where he can kick himself in his own butt. That's always a big positive. Then we got ball pegs at the ankles there where the boots are so you can rotate up and down eh, a little bit. Uh, ankle rocker, pff, barely anything. So I wish that was a little bit better. But still, I am very happy way this guy turned out again i'm super stoked that he actually has double jointed elbows uh mezcal kind of lacks in that area a lot of times so hopefully that's something we see a lot more often you know moving into the future with other figures so i love this guy i think he's totally fun and i think you'll absolutely love him for your collection so for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and Mafex Batman figure. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to a couple other Mystic Masters, being the Mezco 112 Collective Doctor Fate and Atticus Doom. And just for fun, here he is with little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Mezco 112 Collective 
Constantine. Now, man, for me, this guy was definitely worth the wait. Again, he is fairly basic of an actual figure. Uh, his head sculpts are incredible, though. I love especially the beat-up heads. And yeah, there was a little bit of a problem trying to get his cigarettes in, but once you actually alter that, they work out really, really good. I love the fact that he actually has double-jointed elbows. The articulation on this figure works out very well. I almost kind of feel, I'm pretty sure it's like a Gomez buck. That's honestly what I think it is, so that's actually a really big positive. I love his trench coat, it looks really nice, but it does hinder articulation once they have it on there. But man, once you take it off, this thing is very dynamic. This guy comes with so many accessories, it is freaking mind-blowing. The different display options you can use with his different effect pieces, his, you know, magic, fire, all the different cigarette effect pieces, even the little addition of that smoke skull effect, I think that's really rad too. All his different like sacrificial knife and sword and that really cool cross. I mean, it is crazy to see all the different things you could do with this one figure. He is very impressive. I am so stoked to add him to the collection finally. And for me, he is definitely a must get. So be excellent to each other and stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.